Well, welcome to April. As we continue to make our way through 1 Corinthians, we find ourselves in chapter 10. And at this point, Paul's been walking them through this foundation and calling them to stand firm. And then he says something really interesting that I just I want to encourage us with and also challenge us with as we move through this month. We find it in chapter 10, beginning of verse 12, and it says this. It says, if you think you are standing firm, be careful that you don't fall. And then he clarifies, he says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. So in other words, he says, you're not being tempted in a way that no one else has. Never think that, you're not the only one. And then he says this, he says, he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. And I think this is really critical because I think sometimes we think that what we're up against is bigger than the one who's with us. Uh, and we think we don't have a way out. But God makes this incredible promise. Not that what you come up against won't be big, but that there's nothing that you're gonna face that he can't walk you through. That's bigger than him. And so he says, I want for you to stand firm. And I want you to fight that lie. And some of you may be believing that lie, that no, this temptation's too great for me. No, it's not. No, it's not. You can win. You can win. And I want you to remind yourself of that day after day after day. No, I can win. I can stand up against this temptation. And even when it doesn't look like it, God is providing a way out. And to ask him that question, okay, God, what does that look like? What's the way out? So that we can win. So that we can glorify him with the way in which we live. Have a great month.